Amazon has just banned another one of our accounts. Welcome back to another video guys in this video I want to actually go over an updated version of everything that's happening with the Amazon restrictions slash lockouts since we first started dealing with this a few months ago we've been able to learn a lot of different new things especially because we've been able to gather a lot of data from other people going through the same problems but if you guys are new to the channel we do go over everything related to Facebook marketplace dropshipping so make sure you guys go down and click the subscribe button also like this video if you are interested or if you already dropshipping on Facebook marketplace also if you are new we do have a monthly subscription website which is only $20 a month there's community group chats inside of there there is also new courses that come out every single month and on top of that we also do live Q&A's just about every week or every other week and we also offer one-on-one -on -one zoom calls so make sure to get in now before we move the price up in the near future when we have a lot more courses out and also you guys can go down into our description down below and we will have the link there but if you are not interested in that and you just want to be selling inside of e-commerce but you don't want to be putting all the work in and dealing with all the restriction bugs especially what I'm gonna go over in this video which is about Amazon then right below the link for our website will be another link to a qualification call where you can book it with Andrew over at e-commerce University him and his business partner Jason have been getting their clients massive results which is offering a full automation service which allows their clients to get passive income the first thing I want to go over in this video is I actually just want to explain to you guys a situation that we're dealing with literally right now. It literally happened yesterday. So I just want to go over and explain everything that's happening. So as of right now, we do have a couple Amazon Prime accounts and we also have one business Prime account. Now, just to let you guys know right away and right off the bat is that Amazon Prime accounts do get locked down and restricted pretty often. And we've been noticing that these have been happening in kind of more of like waves. And what I mean by that is like literally yesterday and today, we've had multiple people People reach out to us saying that their Amazon Prime account got restricted and every time someone is getting restricted there's always multiple people dealing with the same problem but usually when like no one's talking about it there's not really much happening so we just noticed that a lot of times it really does just happen in waves now if you haven't seen the video before where I went over everything that's happening with the Amazon lockouts what actually happened is we've actually lost one account that completely got deactivated and on that account we didn't do that many orders on we did a little over a thousand orders which was really surprising to us because what actually happened was that was the account that we weren't doing majority of our orders on the account that I'm gonna talk about in this video that did just get locked out is actually one that we've done well over 3,000 orders on not exactly sure just because we don't really keep track of that what Amazon we do buy it on and it's kind of strange how it actually works because the other account I just talked about got completely deactivated I mean we couldn't even sign into or never even go back onto the account and this account that just got hit today which is actually under my name this one basically all it did was lose its rights to actually buy in products now what I mean by that is we can go and buy digital products still and we can buy like ebooks and all those types of things but any physical product that we try to check out with it instantly just shuts it down and the Amazon email that we got sent actually said that we ended up breaking their return and refund policy and we were just violating it too much which doesn't make sense because we honestly haven't done that many returns I mean I'm sure there's people out there that have done way more than us in returns and still have their Amazon account so I thought that was really strange to me so what I actually did was I ended up calling Amazon and when I called them and I talked to their team there was nothing that they could do for us supposedly the specialist that actually go over accounts don't actually have a phone number you can reach them at so they only email you about your account or when you email them they'll email you back within 48 hours which I still haven't even got an email back from them because when I did talk to Amazon they said to make sure to contact them and say that this was just a big misunderstanding just so you can get the Amazon Prime account back which like I said I haven't got the email back yet and it's been probably well over 24 hours so I'm not sure when that's going to happen it's kind of strange to me how an account that actually did way less in orders that barely had any returns is the one that got completely deactivated and when that happened they actually refunded all the orders and I have to go back and figure it out through emails but with this one I mean I can still see all the orders inside of my order sheet and I can also see all the orders that are being shipped to people when they're delivered so it's just kind of weird how this account just got kind of like a temporary band which we probably won't get it back but we still can technically make digital purchases something that we have noticed just through data that we have gathered now that is different for everyone you could be an unlucky person your Amazon business prime could still get locked out but we found that especially with our Amazon business that we haven't ran into a single issue yet now it is still on the newer side but we still have done a decent amount of orders enough where you would think that we would get locked out when we're ordering that many orders every single day but what that data has showed us is that a lot of people who do have Amazon business accounts actually 
to have a way better chance at actually not getting locked out and people who are on personal accounts deal with this a lot so as of today we've honestly just lost about two personal accounts but our business account hasn't even been touched yet we haven't even gotten an email and we haven't dealt with anything that was going bad like it does on personal so what I'm trying to say just from like the data that we have seen is that you guys should be to open up a business prime account if possible now like I said we still have heard of very very few cases of people actually getting blocked out of business prime but I do know that anything in life when you have a business they do take you a lot more serious even Amazon so it's well worth it if you do upgrade your personal account to a business prime account so now you're probably wondering what we will do with our personal Amazon accounts because we do actually have a lot of shops that are actually still on our social security number and we also have our social security number inside of our Facebook marketplaces so we actually still want to keep everything separate from our business so we still want to order on our personal Amazon accounts and keep the business one separate from that luckily we are in a different spot than I feel like most people are because we do have a lot of people that are willing to actually give us their Amazon accounts now one of the accounts that we did get we actually didn't have prime on it so when we went and bought prime and we, literally within 10 minutes of getting it we ordered about eight items within another like 10 to 15 minutes and when we did that we actually got locked out right away like two minutes after the last order and we went back and kind of analyzed it and see what was kind of happening and we found that we actually literally had a brand new Amazon account and we literally just upgraded it straight to an Amazon Prime so we're thinking that it wasn't seasoned enough because we got another Amazon account and we literally just upgraded to a Prime account and we haven't ran into an issue yet so far today now who knows maybe a day or two it could get locked out but we are kind of finding especially the same thing with Facebook marketplace is that when you seasoned account that they take you a lot more serious and they just know someone isn't just going on and trying to spam items or trying to buy a lot of items. I really just want to make this video just to kind of give you guys a breakdown of everything we're actually dealing with this and maybe it can help you in any way possible. Now, something I would probably recommend and something we will be doing over this next week is actually making a bunch of different emails and making at least three Amazon Prime accounts. And what I mean is we're actually going to go in and we're going to make the Amazon account and then a day later, we're going to end up actually buying the Prime just so it sits there and seasons for about 30 days. Even though we have a lot of data to actually just kind of see what is happening with these Amazon accounts and how they're getting locked out and everything that's really happening at the end of the day we don't have like a real big solution or fix to it so that's why we're making this video so if you guys have any comments or anything you can say about this feel free to drop it down below to help other people out because I know it's a big issue and a lot of people are moving over to like eBay and Home Depot and Walmart but at the end of the day nothing can be Amazon Prime shipping speeds so we're really trying to stay on that platform like I said we personally think it's something to do with actually having an Amazon Prime that's been sitting there for a while now or at least an account so I would like I said recommend you do that but at the end of the Day, it's not going to guarantee you anything it's not going to guarantee that the Amazon Prime will be totally safe and if you can it's even better to put it in a different name and also use different credit cards or even just debit cards but at the end of the day we have two accounts that got locked out and we did actually put the credit cards and cards into both accounts and they didn't get locked out right away so we really don't think that's the reason and we also don't think it's an IP thing because like I said we both log into the both Amazon accounts we have and the business one and we haven't had any issues right away with those the accounts that we did make we slowly kind of did orders throughout the months on them because when we first started we were not getting a lot of sales right away but we have noticed also is that throughout the months people who start doing high volume in sales also deal with this a lot more I don't think you should stop drop shipping I don't think you should sit there and be kind of in a panic mode about it but it is something that you should prepare for in the future so definitely reach out to friends family or even make seasoned accounts if you possibly can because it will really help you in the future if you do have to deal with this but let me tell you, if you are someone doing high volume of sales and you are using Amazon as your main supplier, please just make sure you put a plan into place or at least get backup accounts in case anything does happen. Because from our experience, like this is the second one and it's only been with inside like six months. So I can only imagine how many more we're going to deal with, especially now that we're scaling up even harder than ever on shops. I hope this video did just help you guys kind of understand what we're going through just because I know a lot of people are dealing with this and we're trying to just explain to you guys that we are also dealing with this. There's nothing magical about us. We don't have like the some Amazon connections where we can instantly just get accounts to stay around forever. We don't. We sit here and we deal with the same problems you guys do. But like I said, if anyone does have any great tips or advice or ways to help with Amazon Prime accounts, then drop a comment down below. Also, if you do have an Amazon business account, let us know if it's ever been locked out or if it's ever dealt with anything. Because the more data we get, the better we'll be at understanding how these things and problems happen. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.